And I can also try to start the live transcript too. Right on. So here we go. Um, welcome everybody to the metrics model work group meeting. Uh, today's April 26th, 27th. I think we're going to revisit some things today that we had um, from the uh, Asia Pacific call last week. I think there's still some discussion points uh, there as well. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Could somebody put the minutes in the chat really fast? Yeah, I can do that. Okay. I, under I understand URLs, copy, paste, all that cool technology that makes the world go around. <clears throat> there we go. So, thank you. So, um, the first, the, just the first really quick thing is this is largely maybe for Yahoo or folks that are interested in the conversion rate metric. So we're done with the Google Summer of Code applicants. You know, all the applications are done. And same with Outreachy. So at this point, we have to decide kind of how we want to, um, basically who we want to select for the mentorship program. We haven't decided yet. So do do you have an interest in, in being part of the mentorship over the course of summer? Yuhui, do you want to be part of that? Sure, sure. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm the owner. Be, yeah. the, uh, be, be, be mentor. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if you saw my Zoom message, but the reason I asked you is because a couple of the proposals are actually around this um, metric model that you proposed. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, yeah, yeah. And one of them cool. is building it in Grimoire Lab. And I didn't know if, if I, I've asked Georg if there's a Grimoire Lab person who could co mentor. Just, I don't know how well you've mastered Grimoire Lab, so I didn't want to automatically throw that all on you. But if you're comfortable with it, I won't worry about it. But I'm um, usually the Grow More Lab folks are super about helping during Google um, Summer Code. Sure, sure. I'm yeah. be, uh, very happy. Yeah, actually, I saw uh, a JSOC uh, uh, member, uh, I mean, the student, uh, she's name, uh, her name is Mabel. He, yes. Uh, she just attended today's meeting. Yep. Welcome her. Yeah. Okay. Well, that sounds good. Yeah, we don't we won't use this meeting to talk about the selection of candidates. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> okay. yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. That's uh, important. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Uh, just uh, just tell me how to attend. Uh, enjoy join the, the whole things. How to okay. handle the process. I I I'm happy to to uh, contribute my time. I believe uh, you're already uh, added as a mentor, and I can yep. I can like. I can I can give you a quick maybe a half hour before the next AP meeting you and I could chat and I could just explain the process sure sure if that would help so you yep. yep. basically in the past lots of times what we've done and this isn't going to give anything away <laughs> with maybe <laughs> being on the call yeah. but um what we do is we have there are a, a large number of applicants this year and both so usually we just ask for the mentors to provide maybe a top four that they have an interest in so that we can get the list down to a manageable group that we can talk about you know what i mean or a top yep. five or whatever it might be um, just so we can get it down so we're not talking about maybe 20 people or 25 people yeah so and then from there we usually have a meeting that we set up to really kind of work through and agree as a group on on the names that we want to put forward or the number of slots that we want to request. So it's it's usually pretty um, pretty cordial <laughs> amongst everybody, and we figure it all out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, great. Uh, thanks, Yehui. All right. Um, the next thing is the the metric model step forward proposal, and we talked about this in the Asia Pacific call. And I think we think there were some kind of some un, these are just notes from the from the Asia Pacific call. So I think there's a few things that we still need to sort out. I think the the step forward proposal was received really really well in the um, Asia Pacific call last week, and so. June, I don't want to put you on the spot, but do you want to talk through this one more time to help get us <laughs> located in the model? Could, I can share you my could give us this a, You give us a okay. succinct version. I think I understand it, even though I wasn't there. Like it's it's well done. It's very easy to follow. Okay. Um, 
or could, could we just uh, directly ask question <laughs> and uh, sure um yeah I, it, it, maybe you can quickly go through the yeah. slides okay you... okay I, I can quickly go through and uh, i just want to show our step so we have five steps so the most important step is uh, step um, step two metric step step two and uh, in the picture is uh, mm -hmm. picture three picture three so this um, i just want to show our current step is uh, metric step two and uh, metric module step one so so we just want to, to uh, let us go to next uh, uh, step it means metric module step two it means we uh, want to find uh, the more data insight and make us focus on the most uh, meaningful data and to find find our find out the real problem what what is our uh, real problems in the multiple metric so this is our uh, important things maybe the next step uh, uh, metric step three uh, in the last picture maybe we can find more discover and uh, um, prediction something so so this Great. this is our yes and and this is this just is, a it's yeah, the same just, same thing just with uh more uh, example examples. yeah yes so the data is the original data the yes. step one is the formation of our metrics that we have 70 or 80 of right now metric step two is the conversion rate yes then like, step and this yeah, is like, a metric uh, model. Yes, like we define some room and mm -hmm. find find some. Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah, and then different. the metric model step two is we have the example. I, I didn't get it in the minutes. I just realized that. But the example that you had provided, Yahui, where you were providing some insight against the mm -hmm. um, against the graphics. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think I've seen a more right. detailed version of that graphic that explains it more completely. Maybe it's in the issue real for Google Summer code. It's um, somewhere I've seen, I've seen more detail for it somewhere. I'm in the Asia Pacific call right now. Yeah, it's in the micro task of GSOC. Yeah, that's proposal what I, I in the yeah. GSOC. Yeah, there was a more detailed version of this that Yahoo or Yoon June put together. I don't remember. Yeah. I can't find it Ooh. right now. Yeah, it's, can you, it's can you can you grab that? Yeah, I'll find it. Or I'll find it. It's a the document is what you're talking about. It, yeah, yep. it's actually the issue. Yeah, I actually. Yeah. So the last. Uh... What's this? It's right here. It's a link in there. <laughs> yeah. oh, <thank> you. <laughs> so you did a good job. Yeah. <laughs> Very clever, making it easy. <laughs> so easy, we missed it. <clears throat> yeah. So it's this. Yep. And that explains. It's providing the insights. Yep. So when you see a graph like this, it's providing the insights around it. So, from what I understand, and folks can tell me otherwise, is that the these two components are probably within our reach on metrics models. These are things that we can do. Yep. The first step yeah, and yeah. define the model and provide some insight. I think these are things we can do. I'm not saying it's easy, but I think it's within yeah. our within our capability. Um, if, if, you you step in, if you step into the last slides, we can see that too. Uh, how to transform from step the metrics model step two to uh, to uh, step one uh, sorry step two to step two uh, step three yep. uh this slide right here uh yeah the the left picture here so can uh, maybe june you can you 
you want to say something yes. yeah. in the last page and we can say in step one we only have a metric model def <clears throat> and definition and uh, we have uh, user story and uh, we have rule and we have uh, uh, some other description about our module but we don't have some data inside and uh, our um, algorithm and our original date so and we we don't have online uh, visualization maybe we could use auger or some um, load book okay. so we so we added a three parts to um, to implement our uh, match module step two so yeah, so we could um i know uh you, who oh, you? oh sorry yeah, uh, I mean, I, I Shen, you and Rick have, have introduced some visualization from uh, using by the notebook into the matrix model. We really love that idea. So we want to do some enhancement. Uh, means like uh, we uh, we introduce this uh, algorithm definition in the notebook and uh, and uh, and the data inside. I mean, not just. Uh, uh to show the uh, visualization we we uh, provide some uh, analysis on each of single metric result with with the real world uh, community data site so basically that that could uh, quickly verify how it works uh, about this matrix model final result so the the the, the left the right part uh, i mean the yeah this top right corner Mm -hmm. It's showing that the basic structure uh, we set up uh, in the last Asia Pacific meeting, Chen mm -hmm. how gave us a, a, a demo how to do that. Yes, I'm sorry I missed I'm that. I'm going to show you to the Chen Chi. Um, if I come to metrics models, mm -hmm. yes. those are a very attractive new That's organization cool, header. So fo uh, not focus on this. Implementation. implementation. Yeah. And here is the community activity. So this was the proposed structure. Okay. So and Sean, you can comment on this. So I I when it comes to the so and then data insights are the notebook, and then here's just the Python. Okay. I, I certainly could help with the visual. We could help with the visualizations of, of that for sure. In fact, but Sean, what do you think of this? Like just kind of the structure for the implementations, just structural, because this is different than what mm -hmm. you. Yeah, uh, yeah. OK, yeah. Um, go back. So. And this, I think, this is based on this. Yeah. So it's just a way to kind of standardize the way data that we... insight algorithm data set. Um, so, this, so, yep, so the, so the, the data would be, for example, and Daniel and I have discussed this, that the data could be Grimoire lab data. It could be auger data. That's not, that's not relevant where the data comes from, but we could decide on delivering it in a JSON format, regardless of the origins. That seems yeah. like a smart idea that we wouldn't have dependencies on any particular tool, but we could actually have shared data. The only suggestion I might have is that we have a short readme in here that explains the provenance of that data. So we just kind of know how it was obtained. So if it's, if it's straight raw data from the source, that's easy, but usually Grimoire Lab or Augur will perform a series of transformations and aggregations on the data. And I think just kind of lightly, very lightly noting what those are will help people understand where the data came from. And then the other two were data. Um, so the other two were insights and what? Sorry, <laughs> I'm trying to take notes. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, so the data insight is the notebook, the notebook itself. 
and then the algorithm is actually probably operates I'm going to guess as a library that's imported by the notebook that reflects the the for lack of a better word the data science behind producing the insight is that right Yahui? exactly so the, the the data we provide here i mean in the data side provide a folder actually mm -hmm. we, we uh i mean uh, we fetch those data from uh, through the Grim Lab, and also like you said, mentioned, we have to do some data analysis to make sure the whole data scheme following up the the, the matrix model we defined. Yeah. So we so we definitely we definitely need uh, the 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 support from Augur or Grim Lab to set up those data sites. And the, so, for for either Augur or Grimoire Lab, it, it's pretty easy to say we called these APIs and pulled this data, and this is what we did to transform it. Exactly. And so, for the data insight, that would be the piece that we would then evaluate, right? Like in terms of like when you think about any you know proving any algorithm has utility, it's it's there's an evaluation like this, the, the notebook would be the piece that we would show people and have them tell us if, if this was, I don't know, for if it appeared valid, right? I think it would be a human judgment as opposed to a computational proof, right? Do you agree, yep. Yuhui? Yep, yep, I agree. Okay. Yeah, this actually, this, from a how you do this perspective, this makes it significantly more clear than the approach that we did by essentially burying all of this in a notebook and a series of API calls. So we never persist the data, for example, in the work that um, Rugava and I did. Um, so I, I like the structure that you produced. I like your I like the structure much better, and I think it's a model to follow. Because I think right. I think we can get to that evaluation point much more clearly with the model that you that you've laid out here in this other implementation. Are you talking about the insights? Yeah. So so the data insight yeah. is like a thing we can evaluate. The algorithm that produced it is clear and separate, and the data that's used to generate it is persisted okay. and clear. So when you're evaluating the insight you're you can actually you actually know how you got to that insight and can reproduce it um not that okay. you can't reproduce what regava and i did but i think this this structure is much more transparent okay if, does that yeah. make sense you yeah i i mean i, I know uh, we already create a lot of uh, metrics model uh by us and by different other guys together and i think we can we can support those metrics model, uh, you know, from from by Augur and Grim Lab to help them to to collect the data side uh, to from the different uh, community. If they would like to give us uh, a community, uh, for example, uh, okay, this is a contribute from uh, Microsoft. If they give us uh, 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 a project on the GitHub. They can use Augur and the Augur Lab to help them to set up this data site and yeah. store the, the JSON file into the our data folder, mm -hmm. a data set folder, mm -hmm. and uh, and we can we can help them to uh, to set up this uh, notebook at the beginning if they don't have such uh, ability uh, a capability in the beginning mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, and finalize the data inside they have to help us to 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 analysis the final data inside because they yeah. are more familiar with uh, with with their own communities yeah. yeah and this this leads to a like a uh, question Rugava and i have an outstanding er question of interest that we haven't solved yet which is if we use notebooks it would be really great if there was a way for people to make a comment on a yeah. notebook and I don't know that there's a plugin that does that, but if anyone discovers one, I think it would that would be exceptionally useful. And then we could host these metric models somewhere as well. I think I think Rack has already set up how to how to set up the whole notebook environment on 
uh, on one requirement files, if I remember correctly, in the community awareness. I think we can based on this file, uh, Chen Qi and uh, and I and uh, and Rack could work together to set up the whole uh, notebook set uh, environment setup uh, mm -hmm. guidelines to help yeah. them quickly set up this notebook. That would and, be uh, great. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah actually, we we using VS Code uh, on our laptop to quickly. Mm -hmm could quickly set up the, the, the whole things. It's quite quick. Uh, we don't have to do anything else, I think. My students have been teaching me about VS Code this year, and I have to I say think. I'm quite impressed with with its utility. With the duck mode? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I, I, and also I thought things at the beginning, we can help Elitabase to collect data from the uh, chaos, uh, you know, uh, maybe yeah, this may maybe want to know more things about our own community. I mean, the chaos community. So we can start from there, maybe. And I, I think if there's like if if you're using Percival or a, another collection of Grimoire Lab products to produce the JSON files, I think it would. I think it would be a great service mm -hmm. to sort of document that separately so that others could go. I mean, we could host it at first, but I think, I think it also would be helpful for people getting started with Grimoire Lab. I think sometimes it's overwhelming with all the different repositories. And yeah, if you just yeah. said, we use, we use Percival and Sorting Hat or whatever to yeah, get this yeah, data, yeah. Um, I think that would really be a service to Grimoire Lab and to Chaos, because um, it would it would make it more clear how you would actually solve a specific problem with the tool. Uh, as I'm, uh, as we discussed in the last Asia Pacific, uh, June also mentioned that uh, actually because we talked to our uh, community, uh, Open Rula and uh, and Go and uh, Open Gauss and uh, they would like to contribute some uh, uh, online service um, to to be able to install some online uh, 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 Grimlib or auger and yeah. together with notebooks so anyone who haven't uh, got their own uh, environment ready they can basically use this online service directly mm. to 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 handle the whole notebook visualization and uh, and to see what's the final result of the data inside well if if, we all, if there are resources available to host like a version of auger that people could submit repositories to i'd be if happy you, to help install that if you would like to yeah if you would, would like to help us to install the auger and this, and we can provide such service that would uh, be that would be great yeah yeah okay can i can i so this sounds like it's positive i lost a few threads in here <laughs> but it all sounds good yeah <laughs> so, so essentially you, can, in can short you, yeah, one. summarize a few of the like agreements that were made during this conversation and so i think you know, we agreed that the structure of of the metric um that was that that yahoo and june did is a really good structure for showing and evaluating the utility of a metric model. Um, okay, so the 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 inclusion of what is it? What is it yes, data? Basically, this structure. Yeah, algorithm, data, insight, and data. So, data is a persisted set of JSON files that are derived from. Augur or Grimoire Lab. Okay. Okay. As as JSON files in a data directory. So this makes it um, agnostic to whatever tool is used, which I think is good. And okay. the data insights. Well, okay. The algorithm then the algorithm folder. Yeah. Um, that folder makes the way that the metric is calculated transparent. So it exactly. separates the presentation of data from 
the machine learning or data analytics that are used to provide data that's displayed. Okay. And then the data insight, is it? Is that the other? Yeah, yeah the data insight folder is essentially that becomes the thing that we show people so they can look at data about their community and provide us feedback about basically an evaluation of the utility of a metric model. And I'm sort of intersecting some conversations that Yahui and I had on Slack about this. Okay. Uh, do you mind if I make a few comments? Yep. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, I mind. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I love the uh, I love the slides that you created. Uh, yeah, the, in the, those in are the excellent last, slides. In the last meeting, we were kind of talking a little bit about what a what a metric is, what a model is. And what a focus area is and and to be honest with you my thought i had i had gone to that data information knowledge the diky or dikw triangle as well when i was when i was thinking about that so when i saw this it was just like oh yeah i was kind of thinking of that as well uh so so very cool uh the the comment that i would make on this though is that we are becoming very very implementation heavy and I question whether we want to go that far in the metrics models, because it's it's really, for me, it's really getting into the realm of software implementations, uh, which which are de it's definitely something that we are working on and we need to be working on and it's important. And, and, I, and I think you've outlined a, a great way of handling the implementations, uh, but to the point that uh, I think Matt made earlier, I think you had said we could get to step two. I'm I'm wondering if we if we just get to step one in the metrics models, and the this 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 heavy implementation that we're talking about is maybe something that exists outside of the the metrics models or tacked on to the metrics models uh, as as part of the software implementation. I can't figure out how to raise my hand. And I will stop talking now. I have. Uh, I have a comment. I've, I've made my comment. I, so what I would say is, I also think that the way that Yahui defined the metric model in the document is a good example, or maybe it was you. And forgive me, I'm, I'm crediting the wrong person, but but that definition of this metric model was very clear, and so if we start with that, like that would be. The metric model. I think the, the discussion that Yahui and I had in Slack really resonated with me that we should have we need to evaluate these different metric models because I think that provides some kind of evidence to people that they're useful. And I think we're going to learn that some metrics models that we dream up are not useful. Um, and so I think we can sort of approve, publish a metric model at the definition stage. And I think there's like a separate checkbox that, that I think is really important or will become really important that does involve this implementation part. And I, I don't know like where the separation is, but I, I do think the sort of validating and evaluating the utility of the model is important. Otherwise, we're just so with metrics, we can see the value of the discrete thing that we're dreaming up with metrics models, because we're combining a lot of things to answer more complex questions. I think it's almost impossible to evaluate their utility without implementing them. So I had I would like to add one more thing so yeah. that uh, I, I know as, as Kevin mentioned at the beginning, we would have a lot of work related to the implementation. It's a, it's a huge workload. Yes, it, it, it's true. That's why, um, but as, as, um, as Shen mentioned, it's kind of the big biggest difference between the metric and the metrics model. We finally have to provide the, the value of 
of the matrix model for for the people who does want to use that, like community manager and OSPO people. So they would like to to know does it really work for my com company or community? Because as I mentioned in the last Asia Pacific meeting, a uh, lot of community manager come to chaos because they found out chaos have a lot of good, excellent metrics already, but they don't know how to use that. That's why we create or set up this metrics model working group together. And uh, and we already step into this uh, this world means we have to prove that w metrics model could prove that this metrics with uh, some logic uh, uh, in, in a logic side could provide value for those people. So we have to verify that, prove that. That's why we provide some real world data side and you by provided by Augur or Grumab and provide data side, data insight and those data could from us from community managers with, with uh, their real experiences working in the community. That's, and uh, finally, they would find out does it really, uh, this metrics model could work for, for them. And also I have, uh, 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 as your concern, I agree. And uh, I think we can include me and Shane and other people together in, in this meeting. We can provide some implementation support on, on, on the metrics model where we already have. And if, uh, if uh, I mean, for, for like uh, issue handling uh, or response needs, some metrics model, if they don't have enough time, enough time uh, I mean, uh, Chen Qi and Jun and I could also provide such support on that. We can help uh, collect data, handling the data, following the metrics model definition. And uh, we would like to provide some data, uh, I mean, the notebook, uh, basically. But the data inside, if, uh, I, I hope uh, we can work, in uh, work, work, work together to provide such things. So that's why I mentioned um, we would like to introduce the data, inside, data side, firstly, from our own community, like chaos uh, to, to let Elizabeth use the first to, to give us comments. And does she like our metrics model or not? So Kevin, do you wanna, you had two comments. Do you wanna comment back to the comments? I, I had some comments too, but I certainly didn't wanna do three in a row, see if you had any responses. Uh, so I would just say that I, I'm not, uh... I'm not disagreeing with either of you on the importance of proving utility. I think that uh, I absolutely agree with you. Uh, my worry is around uh, may, uh, the, the working group and the creation of the metrics models uh, and uh, that we're, we're almost jumping past the model into implementation and uh, perhaps we need to slow down and spend a little bit of time on the model and creating that recipe for implementation before we jump uh, directly into implementation. And then the, and then a little bit of the confusion of what that implementation would be for our working group, uh, because we do have we do have software uh, working groups uh, where. Is the is the implementation better handled in Augur? Is it better handled in Grimoire Lab, or is the implementation better handled in this working group? Uh, those are kind of the questions that that I have on that. So. so, Sean, one of the things I think came out of a discussion that Daniel and I had when we visited in Madrid, and in some of his team, is what we'd like to do inside Chaos is sort of make the software part a little bit more agnostic and supportive of efforts like this so we can produce these json files with whatever tool somebody knows whatever makes the most sense and then it comes to fruition in a notebook we all agree that we need to dump it to a json file 
at the end so that it can be part of the metrics model. But the idea is not to initially, at least, like I can imagine, like there's a metrics model that's really successful. Of course, we're going to roll it into Grimoire Lab and maybe we'll roll it into Augur, but providing tools that let us get to this point where we have data, where there's a, a much broader skill set of, there's a larger number of people who understand how to run a Jupyter notebook against a JSON file, then there are people who have the time and inclination to learn all of Augur or all of Grimoire Lab. So I think this could help us build the software community inside of Chaos by taking away I think what is the initial hill that people have to climb to learn either tool. <clears throat> okay. Uh, thank you for this conversation. Um, my just this is part of it is just listening and part of my thoughts too. But um, one I do think I've thought about this like in in chaos. I think we have to reach towards insight. I think we have a program that does that right now with DEI badging, and I think it's hugely successful. <laughs> I think a lot of people like that insight. So I think we have to reach towards that. Um, and then I was wondering, this is then from the conversation, um, like the way that we release metrics, like the mindset I have towards metrics is kind of, you know, it's gotten us to like 80 metrics. And I'm wondering if that's not the right mindset around metrics to models. You know what I mean? That we kind of do one at a time or two, like slow, like really slow. This is part of the conversation. Yeah, we take our time with it as opposed to just kind of producing them. Yeah, I see your thumbs. <laughs> producing them the way that we produce metrics sometimes. But part of that, part of that slowness does include this evaluative component. You know what I mean? It does include this this data set from communities, and it does provide that insight. And so I, I like that um, quite a bit. And then to your last point, Kevin, like where this conversation, you know, would occur, like like the 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 DEI badging program obviously does not occur within the DEI working group, just because it is so much work to get done. I think. My, my thought would be is that we at least start the work here. And if it's clear that we can't support it in a two week, you know, an every other week cadence kind of thing, or it ends up occupying an entire, the entire meeting, everything, then, then we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But it, until then, I think I'd kind of like to keep it here because I, I think DEI badging even started in the DEI working group until it <laughs> kind of became its own thing and needed its own, its own cover. Those are, those are my thoughts. Yeah, Kevin. You're muted, I, was Kevin. Muted. Uh, I think that was Elizabeth that made the comment in the uh, in the chat. Uh, and I think uh, I think that's kind of where I was thinking about it as well. Maybe we could if we could think of getting to metrics model step one is oh it was Sean. Okay. Getting to metrics model step one is creating the recipe for the model, right? So we get to step one and this is the recipe for the model. And then we get into step two and this is, let's all get together and, and make dinner, right? The, the implementation, let's cook it up. But I, but I, I think that's, that's, for me, I feel like there should be kind of two distinct steps where you are like step one, we've got the recipe. And then step two is this, is the next thing that we're doing and it's, a little bit disconnected from the model. Does that make sense? Yeah, the metaphor doesn't work totally Sorry. for me. Just because yeah. I, as a baker, I, I do baking things while I'm mixing things as well. That's all. But, and it's hard to disconnect the two. But I understand what you're saying. Wait, I, stop I'm fine and, doing both. I just think we need a little bit of separation. Yeah. Yep. But I, I just, I love, not but. I mean, I love this insight component. I love the reach. And I think it's a real value that chaos can provide. And I think we see that again with the DEI badging program. People love it. <laughs> We've badged whatever, 60 projects. And it's a real way to help people um, improve how they think about that particular topic. 
And if we can help people improve the way that they think about either of the community activity or community welcomingness, <laughs> that's that'd be amazing. And so it may be a little slower than the metrics release. That's okay, but it but it has some real world insight to it. So, and if and and I would I mean it's it's not insignificant that. You know, who he thinks that open oiler may be able to provide us with some infrastructure where effectively we could stand up a version of Grimoire Lab and a version of Augur where if people threw us their repos, we could generate these JSON files with, you know, in relatively short order, honestly. Maybe I'm oversimplifying you, Huey. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I mean, we just the uh want uh, our people focus on the data uh, yeah. inside so that's why we provide json file yeah uh, not not for, not start from set up the auger algorithm from from exactly. zero yeah exactly so much effort goes into setting up auger or grimoire lab for a project that 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 we don't have to do any of that work every time now potentially and so it, may, it makes it much easier to get to evaluation faster. Maybe next uh, next uh, meeting, uh, we can pre prepare some example for the uh, on the other metrics model, not just the uh, community welcome needs and uh, and and the uh, and the community activity, but uh, but for the existing uh, yeah. working uh, w w metrics model can provide some quick uh, demo on that to show how easy it to, to set up the whole things uh, yeah. with that. We, maybe Shen, we can work, work together to, sh to provide yeah. some, some something on That'd that. That'd be great. Yeah, it would be, yeah. What I mean, when I, at the first thing I think of is to, to can sort of transform the metric model that Raghava and I worked on to follow the structure that you outlined. I mean, I mean, the people working here, uh, we have different uh, background. We are professors, uh, we are community managers, uh, and we are OSPO peoples. But we definitely not all, all not all of all, of us are the data scientists. So we right. totally understand that. So we have to make the whole data handling uh, simplified uh, simply. So that's our purpose. So is the is the is this about is this conversation about this last note I'm taking here? The offer to stand up an instance of Augur? Um, it was well, you who you would have. Yeah, maybe we can ignore uh, the 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 things uh, or the infrastructure provided by Augur and Guru Map at this point. We can just okay. show you that uh, how to using notebook and, okay. and, uh, and the JSON file to provide value or examples on the on the other metrics model to see it's very quickly and also about I mean if we already have some instance on our side of group map or, or, or auger. Actually, it's quite simple or quickly to collect to collect those data and handle those data. It's not that uh, uh, complicated. I got you. But, uh, okay. We are not gonna uh, let other people to to set up those environment. We can help people to do so. I got you. And then, so the talk next time would be: here's a notebook, here's a JSON file, here's how you can bring them together. To see the yep. information that you would like to see is that right yeah yeah okay we can pick up some metrics model already defined well defined maybe from you from elizabeth or from from other guys we can pick up okay. one or two metrics model sean is that does that work yes. with you yes i agree, okay. I, agree. Okay. I understand exactly what you is suggesting and agree completely Okay, I feel like some of my notes are not perfect through here because I'm I'm trying to track. I think they're good. I think they're good enough. I, I think that 
I mean, those that directory structure really sort of defines that okay. you have an out, you know, you've got data that's def in the JSON format. You've got an algorithm that's written that can be imported or used to do the anal analytical work. And your data insight folder is effectively giving people something to look at and say, yeah, this makes sense to me, okay. or no, it doesn't. So can yep. you is that right? You am I getting that yeah, right, yeah. Yui? Yeah, I mean we can uh we can follow the, the working progress as we have done before. We can set up a Google Doc to say to uh, to give us a proposal to say okay I have an idea about the working uh, metrics model and uh, which contains uh, several metrics. We give, uh, I give uh, I give this metrics model several user stories or use cases, and the surrounding with uh, some uh, metrics definition. Uh, just like uh, the template we, we uh, metrics model template we have uh, this that that's the phase one or step one of the metrics model cre creating up uh, setting up and then we can step into the okay if if we already done so and uh, we can step into the next step uh, i mean we can quickly using the guru map or auger to start collecting the data from uh, from some communities and set up those notebooks and and to quickly to show the the, the final result, and uh, okay. I hope the whole working flow is uh, is uh, friendly, uh, friendly, so uh, make us quickly to say the result. Like like Elizabeth mentioned, uh, it's it could be more uh, could be useful for some people or not useful for some people, but uh, we just do want to verify. That's it. Ready work. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I like this the the phrase of verification or evaluation because that's really what's I feel like that's what's happening here. Um, the other thing that I would like to talk about next time is you you had you kind of keep alluding to the ability to um, get community data. You know what I mean? Like the, we would have community share share data or deposit data. You might want to talk a little bit about that. So basically, I think it's like how do we? You know what I mean? How do we? How do we? Uh, do that? We can talk about it next time, but maybe. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe we could have uh, um. Own schema for each tools. We could have and a what? Okay, maybe maybe we could have our own schema and um, for each tools and uh, in JSON file or good. A, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's another step forward. So we can we can set up uh, as online surveys to keep updating the data we collect in this data site. So like like I, I saw this in, in the chat channel. Uh, are these just well keep updated? Yes, we could do that. Okay. Uh, uh, if we could provide this that. online surveys, yeah. I know Augur does that. So okay, yeah. okay, that's helpful. Okay, we're, we're, we're making progress, folks. <laughs> we really are. Um, this is a good conversation. Um, I think there's a couple action items. One I, Sean and Ragava, I did just put one in there for you for the community welcoming this folder. Could you structure that like the community activity folder? I don't know if that would be, still... that would be my goal. I don't know if Ragava's with us, but I, I okay. actually, I, 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 I it's most of that notebook actually depends on JSON that's dumped from the Augur API. So, so I'm sure would, you have it all anyway. Right. We would just save the JSON yeah. files. Um, okay. And, and we would also have to extract the algorithms used to generate the JSON files. But okay. I think that's a reasonable thing to do. We have the code. We just have to okay. <laughs> just, you know, put, it, that, put it in a yeah. file. And then the other action item, Sean, that you have with Yahui is to kind of coordinate for the next meeting to kind of do a demonstration. 
with the notebooks and the JSON files? Yep. Yes. We, we can think, pick up okay. several metrics models to do it all. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I think I have. And we can talk about this on Slack too. So, yep. Okay. Sure. Everybody, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Yahoo and yeah. June. Thank you. Everybody. Really awesome yeah. work. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye, everybody. Yep. Nice Bye. job, everyone.